What's good, everybody? My name is Demetrius B. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be taking you along with me on another load. I'm going to break it down, show you how much it's paying, show you how the Amazon process works. So let's move on. Let's get to the truck. Let's go. All right, y'all, we headed to the truck right now. It's not that far away. I got it parked right up the street. Um, so head up to it, get it warmed up. And actually, we were supposed to go pick up a load at uh, at three o'clock, right? But, and actually, we actually got another one, a better one. So I went ahead and rejected it. And I'll go over it in the recap as well. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and rejected that one. And we got one at four o'clock, but we're just gonna go down there since my dad had already pulled up to my house anyway. Just gonna go down there and um, pick up our next load. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so we got it warmed up. We just um, it was warming up right now, but we just did our pre-trip inspection, so everything's good with the truck. We're about to head on down to uh, Derrick Road. Derrick Road, it's about a 40 mile trip. 40 mile trip. Dead head, 40, dead, ah, excuse me, dead head of 40 miles. I'm trying to wake up right now, guys, so just give me a moment. Dead head of 40 miles, and then our trip is 56 miles. We are 30, um, we are 36 miles away from the house, so not too far, thankfully. So as soon as we get done with our last stop, we're 38 miles of dead head from the house. Awesome. So we'll do the recap and I'll show you guys the numbers, how much we made our rate per mile. And uh, I'll also talk about kind of how much fuel we're using as well, because um, that's a big factor as far as our expenses go through the week. And I'll include that in the recap. So let's get to it, man. I will see you guys on the road. All right, we are pulling up. We are pulling up left and then another right and then we are there all my owner operators out there if you haven't started doing Amazon if you want to do Amazon uh, if you're brand new to the game, I think you guys should start out doing Amazon. Yeah, I think you should start out doing Amazon. Amazon pays net seven, boys. So basically what that means is you do, holy cow, there's a lot of box trucks here. Um, you put in a week's worth of work and then on every Friday you get paid. You get 100% of your loads. You don't have to deal with brokers. You set and forget. So that, that's really one of the main reasons why we started doing Amazon, right, Dad? Absolutely. Yep. Don't have to, wow, it's, yeah, it's a lot of box trucks here. It's like 20 box trucks here right now. That's insane. Literally. So. But yeah, this is pretty much it. This is another facility. I think they just completed this facility around, I don't know, what, like a year ago? Something like that, so. Yep, that's what's going on. It's a sea of box trucks right now. It's like 20 box trucks over here. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy how many box trucks over here. But yeah, I'm going to try to sneak you guys some content on uh, getting loaded up at this facility. I'm going to try to sneak some in. But yeah. All right, I guess, you know, one thing I could talk about real quick is kind of how the loading process works how it works is you go and get checked in and then okay this guy's letting me go go and get checked in then at that point you go to the door that you're assigned like here look at this guys look how many box trucks are over there to my left that is crazy how many box trucks are over there like 
insane. But yeah, you get checked in, you go to your assigned door, you pull up back into it. And you have to scan your freight, and you go back to where you got checked in, you get checked out, load up, and head to your location. That's pretty much it. But yeah, here, I'm going to go and get checked in now, so... I'm going to try to, again, I'm going to try to sneak you guys some content with my phone after I get done um, loading up or while I'm getting loaded up. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Anything you want to say to, to the people? Well, not actually. Uh, this has been a not just a job, but it's an adventure. Right. <laughs> but, it's an adventure but, every single time. But the rewards are undeniably this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. I've been a computer professional for 40 something years and I have never gotten paid like we're getting paid right now. So this is real, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, we're just now leaving, guys. We're heading to our first location in, we gotta go to Griffin, Griffin, Georgia? Yeah. They're from Griffin, no, Locust Grove and then Griffin, I believe. Yeah, yeah I think so. Locust Grove, then Griffin. So. No, Griffin, Griffin first. And then it's Locust Grove. So we're going to Griffin first. It's 37 miles away. Right. That is correct. We're going to drop off there. And we're headed to Locust Grove. And that's it. We're done for the evening. Done for the night. So, yeah, once, we're, um, once we pull up to the post office in Griffin, we will resume with the video. So see you guys then. Yep. Have a nice night. <laughs> because it'll be daylight when we pull up here. Almost. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it to our first stop. My dad is unloading the last pallet now. So we're gonna go ahead and shut her down. And we're gonna go to our next stop, so. That was violent. That's it. We're all done. Everything's completed. <laughs> Everything's good to go, guys. Done with this trip. I will see you in the recap, man. We finna go back to the house. It's over with. Yep. I will see you guys in the recap. All right. YouTube, this is the recap for this video. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna tell you about this trip. We had two stops, okay? Two stops. Grab my phone real quick. Yep, we had two stops. So we left the house, okay? It took us 42.4 miles of deadhead to get to our first location. Sorry, somebody's blowing me up right now. 42.4 miles of deadhead to get to our first location. That's where we were picking up. And then the first stop was 37.6 miles of driving. We dropped off there. Then the next stop was only 13.1 miles away. Um, and then we had 38.7 miles of deadhead back home. This trip was for, take a look at my desktop really quickly. Okay, so it says, 56.1 miles at six dollars and ten cents a mile for a total of three hundred and forty two dollars and five cents um in actuality this was only 50 miles of, of driving like 50 50 point 50 point seven miles of driving um because we kind of took a shortcut um through, through a, a state route so that shaved off some mileage so really we could say this we got paid you know $342 for 50 miles instead of 
56. But to get to the point, um, we did $342 for 131 miles total, including deadhead. Um, I try to also I'll always include deadhead into the factor because you know we're not getting paid for those miles. So um, for a rate per mile, including deadhead, of $2.59. That is what makes sense to me right now since um, most of the long runs that we are doing, um, that we are getting from post to truck, they aren't, um, they, they aren't, they, they aren't hidden. Like they're, they're not good enough for us to take them and go long when we can do shorts like these that are more efficient. Um, we try to do two in a night, but we've only been able to get one recently. So, um, and keep in mind guys, like, these trips, these short trips like this, they don't take long for us to do. Um, we left the house at, I woke up at 2.30, left my house really quickly, just walked up to my truck, which is right up the street. And we basically, um, actually, no, I didn't walk up. My dad came and picked me up, as you saw in the video earlier. My dad came and picked me up, and we basically went straight up to the truck. So while we were at the truck at 2.45, I turned it on. We left by three o'clock we had to be there at four um and then we were back at the house after our trip by 6 45 so this took us four hours to make 340 dollars basically and um you know i got back in the bed went to sleep went on about my day woke up probably around 12 and you know um the the biggest thing during slow season guys is that you really need to have multiple streams of income because in business there's going to be up and downs it doesn't matter you know what business you're in so um, you know I have a used car dealership well where I sell cars um, I flip cars and then I also own real estate as well so I have one property that's paying me um, so you guys got to have multiple streams of income as entrepreneurs to be able to combat these sort of situations where things are slow because eventually it's gonna pick back up when probably around February maybe March that's just what it is right now. So you have to do what is good and what is efficient for your situation. If I can make, you know, two to twenty five hundred dollars a week, I don't have to make, you know, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand dollars every single week. It's nice when I do. But, um, you know, this is allowing me to spend other time building my other businesses that I have recently started. So. You know, it's 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 efficient right now and I'm able to use my time wisely and go make money in other areas that kind of make up for the, the slow period that we're having that. And I'm only spending about 100 to 200 dollars a week on fuel to make this kind of money so we can do, you know, three trips literally on one tank of gas. So maybe about 900 to a thousand dollars on one tank of gas doing these kind of trips. So, again, that's what makes sense. For my personal situation right now i don't have a lot of overhead you know in my business in my personal life i don't really spend a lot of money like that anyway so i don't have to make all the money in the world right now in this particular avenue at least when it's slow but when it's hot like you guys have seen before it's hot so making two thousand dollars a week 2500 maybe even three grand it's cool i'm cool with that but as always guys as always I appreciate you coming, listening to what I have to say, watching my videos. Again, I hope that I have provided you with some sort of value with these videos. Um, you know, I, I make them for you guys. I, I really don't um, do it for any other reason than, than that. You know, I, like I said I, in my previous videos, I wish that this type of content would have been available, you know, when I was first starting my journey, my process. So again, thank you guys for watching so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace.